I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on trigonometric equation. The equation here is solve tan x plus 3 cot x equals to 5 secant x where x is between 0 to 360 degrees both included. Now here we could write all these terms in terms of sine and cosine. So tan x is sine x over cos x plus 3 times cot is cos x over sin x, correct? Equals to 5 times secant x is 1 over cos x. So let's bring cos terms together. So we get sin x over cos x minus 5 over cos x equals to 3 times cos x over sin x. So here we get sin x minus 5 in the numerator, denominator is cos x equals to 3 cos x over sin x. Now we can cross multiply, so we get sin x times sin x minus 5 equals to 3 cos x times cos x. Let's open this bracket. So if you open the bracket, you get sine square x minus 5 sine x equals to 3 cos square x. Now as you can see in this equation, we have both sine and cosine terms. We could always write cos square x as 1 minus sine square x to get quadratic equation in sine. So let's do that. So we could do this as sine square x minus 5 sine x equals to 3 times 1 minus sine square x, correct? Now I'll take this equation to the right side and solve it further. So what we have here is a quadratic equation, sine square x minus 5 sine x on the right side, we have 3 minus 3 sine square x. So we'll write this as equals to, let's open this bracket, 3 minus 3 sine square x. Bring all the terms to the left side. So we have sine square x plus 3 sine square x minus 5 sine x minus 3 equals to 0. Combining first two, we get 4 sine square x minus 5 sine x minus 3 equals to 0. Now, we can factor this equation. 4 times 3 is 12. We are looking for minus 12 as the product and minus 5 as the sum, right? So, minus 5 as the sum. So, which two numbers could give us product of minus 12. So we are looking for product of minus 12 and sum of minus 5. So since we do not really have a combination, we can apply the quadratic formula. Okay. So let's apply the quadratic formula, which is uh, sine x is equals to. So sine x is the variable uh, minus b so minus b means 5 plus minus b square, which is 5 square. You could write minus 5 square, minus 4 times ac, 4 times 4 times minus 3, divided by 2 times a, 2 times 4, correct? So we applied the quadratic formula here to find the value of sine x. So we have 5 plus minus square root of we can use the calculator to find this value. So it is, uh, or let's write down now, 25 minus and minus is plus, and um, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 4 is 48, divided by 8, right? So let's use calculator, 5 plus minus, uh, square root of this, right? So we'll do square root of, 25 plus 48 equals to 
square root of 73. So let's write decimal equivalent of this, which is uh, 8.544. Okay, so that is kind of quite accurate. So that means for sine x, we get two values. So one possible value is positive, the other one is negative. Now if I do, let me see what these two values are. So we'll do 5 plus 8.544 divided by 8 equals to, in decimals, 1.69. If I take the positive value, in that case, we get two solutions. One of them is 1.693. Now this one is not possible, right? Not possible. Since sine value is less than 1, right? It's between plus and minus 1. So this is not possible. The other one is 5 minus 8.544 divided by 8, which is equals to, within decimals, uh, which is equal to let me write down this value as minus 0 0.443. Is that okay? So that is okay. So we could always get this value minus 0 0.443. So we get one value for sine x. So we have sine x equals to minus 0 0.443. Now how to find x for this? What are the possible values of x? within the given domain 0 to 360. That is what we have to keep in mind, right? So, let us uh, think about the coordinate plane. Since sine is negative, we are looking for the solution being in coordinate 3 and 4. So, what we will do here is find the acute angle alpha, which is sine inverse of 0.443 okay so let's find the acute angle alpha so we say shift sine inverse of 0.443 and that is equal to uh, 26 point let's say 30 okay 295 i'm rounding to 26.3 so we do have an acute angle which is 26.3 so that gives us two solutions, one in coordinate 3, the other one in coordinate 4. So the angles are for x equals to 180 degrees plus 26.3 or it is equals to 360 degrees minus 26.3 degrees, correct? So these are two possible solutions. So let's find these solutions now. We have 180 minus 26.3 equals 2 in decimals 153.7 degrees the other one is 360 minus 26.3 equals 2 in decimals 333.7 degrees correct so these are the two solutions as shown here so we have one solution and the other one is kind of like this do you see that so that is how we can solve a trigonometric equation like this. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.